want to talk about this story that's gone viral. Um, Tessa Tukes and Joey Kirchner were fan favorites on Bachelor in Paradise Canada and found their happy ending when they each proposed to each other in their big finale. So they're tying the knot in September. But Tessa says her search for a dream wedding dress turned into a nightmare when she was asked to pay up for undergarments that matched her skin tone. The story went viral. Joey took it on TikTok to sound off. Take a look. Wedding dress designers of TikTok? We've got a problem. I need to address something with you here. My beautiful, gorgeous, strong, confident future bride, Desa, went to buy a wedding gown, dress, whatever you want to call it. Here's a problem, okay? She went to the store, which is supposed to be one of the most magical days of her life, next to getting married to me, of course, and she went to purchase this beautiful wedding dress. The lady says to her, she says, glad you found your dress. The undergarment choices come in two options. The standardized choice is nude, which is free. But if you like the undergarment to match your skin tone, there's an upcharge. So you're telling me that it's free to be white, but if my bride has a different skin tone than white, she has to pay extra money to get the undergarment to match her skin tone? First of all, why is the standard white? How is that that in 2024, the standard, which is free, is a nude skin tone? Nude could be a lot of different colors, but they decided to make white nude the standard? So that video has gotten almost four and a half million views and over 12,000 comments. People saying things like, I'm here for it. We need answers. The industry needs to change. And thank you for feeling this rage with her. This is so validating. Please welcome to our live show, Tessa and Joey. Come on out. has everybody, you saw the audience, everyone, I don't care what background you're leaning in on this. Uh, mostly, Joe, your delivery, you were hot. You were mad. <laughs> I came mad. in hot. I yeah. came in that, hot. That's a good sign when, when the man in love with you is as mad for you as you are. That's a good sign. So there you have it. Congratulations <laughs> Thank on you. your upcoming wedding. So take us to the, you saw this dress online. Yes. And you wanted to get this dress. You thought this was the perfect dress. When did you realized that, well, I, that the conversation wasn't going great when you were discussing the dress with them. Yeah, so I tried it on. I saw it on Instagram yeah. first, and I know sometimes you see the dress in person and it's not what you're expecting, but for me, I was like, this is it. This is my dress. Standing there up on the pedestal, about to hand them my credit card, and they're like, just so you know, for brown colored cups, we're going to charge you more money. And they specifically said for brown colored cups. So for people yes. who don't understand what we're talking about here, these are my brown Ooh. colored cups. <laughs> So these um, now come in brown skin tone. They're used when, you know, your dress might be a little see-through or whatever. I've been doing this uh, talk show TV thing for 30 years. These didn't come out until like the last few years. Because what? they were, yeah, yep. they have not been out. Look at the live news, <laughs> breaking news, you didn't know that. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember when they didn't come in this brown shade. So you knew that they were available. Yes. Just like slips. When I grew up, I'm 53. All slips were very, very pale white. Mm -hmm. Stockings, I'm 53. Try finding a brown pair of stockings. <laughs> I used to walk around look like I had mannequin legs on <laughs> because they didn't have stockings or we'd have to wear black stockings. Sheer black, that was the default. So mm -hmm. you knew that these existed. Yes. And you and they said, how much more was so it? So gonna... they didn't specify until I was actually paying. They oh. said there's an upcharge and kind of kept it mysterious. And the money got up to pay. It sounded like it was about one seventy five to two hundred dollars. But more. it was an up. Whether it was a penny or a yeah, hundred dollars, it's more. Did you ask why it was an upcharge? I didn't. I tend to kind of like look inwards and get kind of quiet when I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. And I'm, I'm used to things like this. Like my whole life, I've just been, you know, I've been dealing with stuff like this. So. So you my... dealt with something like this before? Yeah, growing up dancing, I could never find tights that matched my skin tone, so my mom would actually yeah. dye them. Your mom died, so you knew this part. Yeah. Yeah. Tea bags, yeah. makeup foundation, anything to get things closer to my skin color. Yeah. And so, Joey, when she came home, obviously, you you just learned today they came in brown just recently. Oh. So you, you'd never heard this, right? You'd never heard this before. No, I mean, 
from the time she told me that it happened to the time I made that video, about 10 minutes had passed. So it wasn't a whole lot of time for me to get my anger out. Right. <laughs> um, Why were you so upset? Well, one, I was just in shock that it, this even happened. Yeah. And two, that it was even existed as something that could happen. Like, how? In what world? Make it make sense. Right. Because it doesn't. Why, why is it free to have my skin color? When you walk out, did you walk right? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you, when you walked out, did they, sometimes when you walk out, like the pretty woman moment, you're like, big mistake. Did, you, did they try to get you back in? So I actually paid the deposit. You did? I did, yeah. I'm kind of agreeable to a fault, and I was so uncomfortable. Like, I was the only person of color in the room. I just felt so alone, and I just felt like yeah. I needed to go through with I the purchase. I get that, and you didn't want to seem like the difficult one, right? Exactly, I yeah. should point out, the bridal shop reached out to you to try <laughs> to make things right, and they offered the dress for free. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back, Tessa's response to the bridal shop's free offer. We are back with Bachelor Nation fan favorites Tessa Tooks and Joey Kirchner. They recently went viral after posting that a bridal shop told them that they'd have to pay up to get undergarments that match Tessa's skin tone. So if you think this is just about paying up on skin tone, there's something called the pink tax. I'm not sure if you know what that is. You know what the pink tax is? Um, that is where products for women cost more than products for men. According to Savos, a tax solution software company, women lose over $1,300 a year because of this, which hurts even more when we're making less than men. Dry cleaners, for example, I used to do a business segment called The Bottom Line when I was in Chicago. We pay more for dry cleaning. You take two shirts, a man's shirt and a woman's shirt, same style of button down, cleaners used to, charge a woman more just because it was a woman's shirt. The pink tax on women's products. All of these things that end up costing women more, and now you get to your category of women of color. Mm -hmm. And here you're facing something so simple. The, 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 the bridal shop called you back and said they wanted to make right on this. What was that conversation like? Because you seem like a lovely person and a forgiving person, and sometimes you have to forgive people for their mistakes. Oh, totally. And at this point, I think they've, you know, recognized what went wrong, and they've apologized, and they've since offered me the dress for free. But... Yeah. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so... They offered it for free yeah. after they went viral and yeah. got a lot of comments. Mm -hmm. And you decided what? So my wedding day, our wedding day, I should say, uh, is going to be the most magical day of our lives. And <laughs> I really want the day to be holistically magical. And I feel like wearing a dress that reminds me of this hard challenge might not be what I want for that yeah. day. Yeah, no, I understand that. <laughs> no. Because that is the truth of it all, right? It's, I could take the dress and wear the dress, but it reminds me of something painful. And that's why we wanted to have this conversation. This is not about wagging our fingers at that bridal shop, because I could name a list of people who probably do things similarly, but it does wear you down. Mm -hmm. It does have an emotional toll on women when we feel constantly that we're paying more, that we're, especially when it relates to race and color, that we have to tax. So I'll tell you this, I'm wearing these shoes today. This designer, she's a Jordanian designer. Her name is Amina Morada. She makes skin tone shoes. I bought this skin, don't look at my little legs. <laughs> you know. And by the way, I didn't even realize until I looked down in the commercial break, I was like, that's exactly why I bought these nude mm -hmm. color <laughs> shoes because it does matter to us to be represented. But Joey, um, the response has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. And now you're like a hero uh, <laughs> for women's undergarments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Any, re in, any, any regrets, any, any, you know, cause you, you were on fire. I keep saying that. That's all I saw was this blaze. I didn't see black or white. I just saw red. Yeah, no regrets? Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, uh, no. No, I mean, if anything, that was like me keeping a lid on it. Yeah, it was good keeping a lid on it. Well, you know what? This story has been tremendous. I appreciate the fact that you stuck up for, obviously, the person you love, but more importantly, you stuck up for women here that we are representing in all shapes and forms. Thank you so much. Um, you're getting married in September. You guys are going to come back and give us the scoop because the Bachelor Nation wants to know. Where's the wedding? <laughs> I got to ask these questions because they'll get mad at me. Where's the wedding? 
Oh yeah, uh, we're getting married in Ontario. Canada. Ontario. Yeah. Have you picked out the song? We have actually. We have. We're getting married September 21st. A little Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 21st night yeah. of September. We got the date. We got it. We got the date. You are like the blackest guy right now. <laughs> Give it up for Joey and Tessa. We're gonna send you a wedding gift. Let us know once you're registered. I need to send something to you. Thank you so much to Tessa, Tessa, and Joey. And shout out to the Bachelor Nation when we come back. We're gonna meet the women who quit, a woman who quit her job and took to the streets to fight for salary transparency. Don't go away, we'll be right back.